Hello and welcome again to Target SSB. Hope you are in the best of your health. So my dear friends, today we are going to discuss the part 5 of Short Short Questions for SSB Interview. Let me remind you that we have already discussed previous part 4 of Short Short Questions of SSB Interview. The one who has not visited it yet, kindly visit it because these are Short Short Questions. And these are very helpful for your upcoming examinations, especially for SSBs. So without wasting time, let's start with the first question of today. That is, how many members do you have in your family? See, my dear friends, interviewing officer will certainly ask you about your family because he is interested about your growth, that in what type of environment you have grown, who are there in your family, and whether you know them well or not. So this, I request you, I suggest you that kindly know about your parents, kindly know about your family members, that how many members do you have and what type of qualities they are having, right? So this is the question, how many members do you have in your family? How you are supposed to answer it? If suppose you are having uh, your mother, father, your elder brother and you, only four members in your family, then you are supposed to ask that, then you are supposed to answer like that. Uh, we are having only four members in my family. There are, include your every member, right? And if you are having grandparents among you in your family, then my dear friends, please tell in a chronological order, right? See like this. So, uh, first of all, you need to mention your grandparents, then your parents, then uh, your siblings and you, you at last. If suppose you are having your grandparents, then you are supposed to answer like this. Uh, Sir, I am having six members in my family. My grandfather, my grandmother, my father, my mother, my elder brother and me, right? This is the proper way to answer. Don't be perplexed. Don't say like this. My my elder brother is there. My father, my grandmother, my mother, my grandfather. Don't be perplexed. Okay. Be systematic. Your approach should, should be systematic. So please kindly remember this thing. This is the first question will be covered because it is about your family only. So you should know about that. So now moving towards the second question that is, what type of relationship do you share with each member? See, this is a very tricky question. Tricky means that what type of relationship do you share with them? See, don't bluff in this question. Just speak right, but the right thing should be relevant, right? It should not be like you are speaking truth, 100% true, but it is not relevant. Suppose you are having a good relationship with your parents, with your family members, then speak it out. And you can use different adjectives like I am having a friendly relationship with my father a loving relationship with my mother, a caring with my grandmother, these type of things, these type of words you can include, right? So to make your answer a healthy answer or an organized answer. So I request you, I suggest you to have some, uh, to note down some adjectives and please kindly note down these answers in your notebook or whether if, I, I suppose that you have made a particular notebook for your short, short questions of interview. So kindly note down the questions and answers and Re uh, repeat it, revive it again and again. So it will definitely help you, help it out. So uh, now coming towards the third question, that is whom, uh, whom you are close to. See, this question is something like, again, a tricky question. He can ask you in uh, your parents also that you are close to your mother or father. Then gentlemen, here you are supposed to be a bit diplomat. First of all, I know that you will say that, oh, sir, I'm close to both of them. Then you need to tell that in what condition you are close to your mother, in what condition you are close to your father. If you are close to your mother more than your father, then speak it out that I am close to my mother because these are the things. And uh, if you are close to your father, because these are the things, because I discuss these type of matters with my father. And you can even say that I am close to both of them. Sometimes I am more close to my father in outer matters, like my discussion about my career and something else. And in home matters, I am close to my mother as she guided me regarding these things as earlier I was not a good cook. Now I have become a good cook also because I am close to my mother. She has only helped me. She has only guided me how to cook things. I'm telling about different things. It is happening with everyone, right? It happens with everyone. Kindly speak it out in this manner. See here, don't be stubborn while answering that. Don't say like this. I am close to both. Then he will say again, no, no, that, then interviewing officer will ask you certainly that, no, no, that should, there would be somewhat whom you are more close to, right? Then at that time, please don't say again, no, no, I'm close to both. If you're saying that I'm close to both, then you need to explain the thing like I have explained you right now. All right. Uh, now moving to the last question of the day, that is, 
whom do you admire most see these two questions the third and the fourth question are somewhat similar but they are not exactly similar right we can say it is somewhat same but not similar because whom you are close to is somewhat different and whom do you admire most is something different yes it might be possible the one who is whom you are close to you might admire him most because of her traits or of his traits right whatever he or she may be like in this question what you are supposed to say is the one whom you admire most you shall answer that and there should be pro- appropriate reasons be- behind that see my dear friends i will tell you one more thing that in interview no answer is right no answer is wrong but it depends on you that how you justify that answer if you are able to justify that answer correctly and if you are able to convince him on your answer then it is good then it is right answer so it is not like that no i will say i am close i admire my mother most because she is having these these, these qualities the other one is saying i admire my father most i have seen the people i have seen the students that they ask even they in my class they ask me doubts that so what shall be the answer of this question this is up to your thing right up to your uh, perspective whom do you admire most it's about your life you are supposed to know about that particular thing so my dear friends i hope that you like the video and you got the video and that you got the way how to answer the questions and so please thanks for watching please like share and subscribe the one who has not subscribed yet please subscribe the channel to get updated from this channel till then take care jai hind jai bharat see you soon